backup of the local development environment can be a lifesaver, especially when we keep experimenting with it. If it gets messed up, restore is just a command away. In this video, we'll see how to take backup of a WSL Linux distro running on Windows subsystem for Linux and restore it back. To find the list of install WSL Linux distribution, open Windows command prompt and type WSL minus L minus V. Here we can use minus V or minus Q. Minus V stands for verbose option, which will give detailed information about all WSL distributions. And with Q, it will only give the list of distribution names. So now hit enter. In my case, only Ubuntu is installed within WSL environment and I'm going to take backup of this environment. In case you have multiple Linux distribution installed in your WSL, you will see multiple distribution names here and copy the name of the distribution that you want to take backup. Now type WSL minus minus export space distribution name. In my case, it is Ubuntu. So I'll copy this one then space file name. So if you want to take backup of this distribution in the current directory, then you can just give the file name. I'm going to take the backup in different directory. So I'm going to give the fully qualified file name. Let's say Ubuntu and today's date dot tar. Hit enter. You can see it is taking backup here. It will take few minutes. Yeah. So backup is done. You can see it created this backup file and it's approx 1.4 GB. Now we will restore a specific backup tar file as a new WSL distribution. Go to Windows command prompt and type WSL minus minus import then distribution name say my environment space installation directory I'm going to install it in C installed environment WSL then space file name of the backup tar file if it is located in different directory then we need to give the full path of that backup file i'll give the full file name path c backup wsl then ubuntu here we can optionally supply the version argument minus minus version one or two H WSL version for this new distribution. I want to go with the default two version. So I'm going to remove this part. Hit enter. So it's completed successfully. Let's go to that installation directory. And we can see that hard disk image file which is root file system for this environment is created. To verify, let's type WSL minus L minus V. And we can see my environment is created and it is right now in stop state and it is using WSL version 2. Let's start this my environment to see whether it is working properly or not. So type WSL minus d then distribution name in my case it is my environment and we can see my environment is installed successfully and it is running as expected also we can check whether it is in a running state or not now if we open another command prompt and type wsl minus l minus v we'll see my environment is in a running state this is the end of this video. I hope you found value in this content. Please subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon. Thanks for watching.